Have you guys ever been watching a video and you feel intrigued because there's text that comes flying in between the person and the background, or sometimes you see uh, graphics falling between the person and the background, and other times you see people swap out the entire background altogether? Well, today I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that inside of the CapCut desktop app. Okay, so I have my clip down on the timeline. Uh, this is gonna be like a day in the life, daily vlog style clip here, where it just shows me grab my backpack and walk across the room. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use the remove background feature to run text behind the subject. So the first step is you always wanna create a duplicate of your clip. You can do this by right clicking and then selecting copy and paste. That's gonna give me a duplicate clip. You can also do this by just selecting option and then dragging the clip up. So I've already created my duplicate. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hide this layer for now. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find some text. So I'm just gonna use kind of like the boldest text I can find here. So in the upper left, I selected text. I'm then just going to select something like this and we will drag this down here between the two layers. So as you can see here, if I was to bring back this layer, I've now dragged the text here between the two layers. I'll go ahead and hide that top clip again. And then here I'm going to type in the day, type in Tuesday. Let me go ahead and make this uh, text as big or as bold as I want it to be. I can select bold on here. Um, really all that matters here is that you can still see the text on the background here. And in this case, the background's light, but the text has that black outline so you can still see that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back the top layer here. So now you can see the text is actually hidden behind this top layer. I'm gonna select the top layer and then in the upper right hand corner under video, next to basic, I'm gonna select remove background. When I select that, I'm gonna scroll down here to the third option, which is auto removal. I'll select auto removal and you'll see it's processing a little bit here. So we're gonna go ahead and let this process and it appears to be done. Now let's go ahead and watch this through and see how it looks. All right, so I think it did a pretty good job on my body. You can see here that it didn't quite pick up the backpack, but that's okay because there's still one more step in this effect that I wanna show you guys to make it look even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the text uh, layer, I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go down to create compound clip. What this does, it basically nests the clip as a typical video layer. I can no longer make changes to the text layer, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do now is with the text layer selected, I'm gonna go to the upper right, select mask, and then I'm gonna select rectangle mask. And as you can see here, I have a mask on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the mask a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna go scrub through the footage to get to the part where I'm going to start walking past the letters, which is right about there. Next, I'm gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna select a keyframe. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe out the letters as I'm walking past them. So as you can see here, I'm starting to walk past. I'm gonna jog forward in the video by using the right arrow. And I'm just gonna move this over a little bit and that's gonna add another keyframe. So every time I move the mask, another keyframe is added, as you can see down here on the timeline. And let's go ahead and watch this back and see how it looks. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can add kind of like an overlay that actually comes in behind the subject. So uh, for this one here, I am going to, I just dropped down this clip here on the timeline. This is just a talking head clip. Um, and then what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some sort of graphic like this that has a green screen effect to it. I got all my clips off Storyblocks, but uh, there's other free ways that you can get uh, these types of green screen overlays as well. Uh, first step is always the same, is to create that duplicate clip. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down my green screen between the two clips. I'll go ahead and I'll hide the top clip for now. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to resize this green screen clip to make it better suit my actual video. Okay, there we go. Now with the green screen selected, I'm gonna go over to remove background, and then you're gonna see I select this, it's called chroma key. 
We're gonna select that, and then we're gonna select the color picker. From there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select the green on the screen. And as you can see here, it's selected green, and then I'm gonna increase the intensity, and that's gonna remove all of the green that it sees on the screen. And it's gonna be just the color green that I selected. And I know in money, there is some other uh, green colors in there, so you might have to be careful here with the intensity, but this looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring back my top layer, select the top layer. I'm gonna go back into remove background and I'm gonna auto remove just my background behind me. As you can see, it's processing here a little bit and now it's done. Let's go ahead and watch this back and see how this looks. And that provides an estimate of a property's value based on data and algorithms. While this can be a useful starting point for understanding the value of your property, so that's pretty cool, right? You can also do that with other things. Like I have another clip here that is coins, like gold coins. It's the same exact process here. I'm gonna select the clip and then I'm gonna resize it to match, um, you know, whatever aspect ratio I'm using just to make sure that it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and select chroma key and color picker. And then from here, I'm gonna select that green color and I'm gonna increase the intensity so that all you see is the coins. Let's go ahead and watch this through. Bit of a property's value based on data and algorithms. While this can be a you It's pretty cool, right? Okay, so for my last example, I'm gonna completely swap out the background. And this is how I would do this. Um, I dropped a little clip of me talking here at the beginning of the video down onto the timeline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and go up to remove background and I am going to hit auto removal and let it completely uh, remove me from the background. Now, as you can see, it's completely removed me from the background. Now what I have to do is I have to bring down another clip. So I'll add this to the timeline and then I'm gonna move the clip of myself above that clip. This is just a static picture. So this isn't actually a video so I can make it as long or short as I want it to. This is actually a uh, picture of one of my actual listings. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and resize this to make it work for what we're doing. I might even resize um, myself to make myself a little bit smaller, to make myself fit a little bit better into this clip. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up here to where it says effects. I'll select effects, and then I'm gonna go under video effects, down to lens, and I'm gonna look for one that's called blur. Here's the blur. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down onto the timeline, but I'm not gonna put it on a clip. I'm gonna put it between the two clips. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'll show you here in a second. I don't wanna have this blur baked into this background. So in the upper right hand corner now, you can actually decrease the blur. So I'm gonna make this look a little bit more realistic because typically, obviously, uh, a background would be uh, somewhat more blurry than I would be as the subject. So I just want it to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm adding this blur. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a adjustment layer. So go up to adjustments, select custom adjustment, and that's gonna add in a little adjustment layer. And what an adjustment layer does is anything below the adjustment layer will change whatever it is that I adjust. So in this case, I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna make some adjustments here to the color just to try to make everything look uniform. So I'm gonna go over here to curves and what I like to do is I like to make a little S curve. So, so I'll go ahead and I'll bring up the highlights a little bit and we'll drop the shadows a little bit. And I like to move this part in the middle, just a hair to the left. And then I like to crush the blacks by flipping up this tail end here just a little bit. And I like how that looks. Um, you see here, just the slight difference it made to the entire picture, but it kind of tied everything together. I mean, you can make more dramatic changes than that if you want. Let's go ahead and watch this back. Now, the joy of uh, not putting the blur baked into the clip is, now what I can do is I can go in and I can just try different backgrounds and see which one I like the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace the background I had with this one, I'm replacing the clip. It doesn't take any more work. I can just go ahead and flip through the backgrounds and see which one I like the best. So let's go ahead and try this one. Me just hanging out on a deck with a lake behind me. 
I know it's fantastic, but uh, I should also add that a lot of times people will use this remove background if they're discussing like an article or something they've seen on a website, they'll put a clip of the website behind them. And a lot of people just use the green screen effect on like TikTok or Instagram reels. But in my personal experience, and really, in, I mean, if you've ever seen that, this looks so much better. It's like 1% harder to do in CapCut and it's like a thousand percent better looking. So uh, I don't think there's any arguing that. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the remove background feature in CapCut. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that. Make sure to share the video with your friends, anyone who you think might find my content helpful. I truly appreciate it. And if you want to see what AI features I love inside of CapCut, go ahead and watch this video right here.